Hello everybody, all the ones of you who know Modo probably also know the rounded edge shader and they know what a spectacular time saver this can be. And guess what? Blender can do this as well. It's a bit hidden and this is what I want to show in this video. So let's start with a simple uh, object. I make a cube, tap to edit mode, right click and subdivide it, F9, I make three subdivisions, then go to edge mode and remove the middle edges. So Alt, Shift click and Shift click again, then X and dissolve edges. Okay, first I want to bridge these two polygons, so bridge faces, and then I select these two, Control Shift up arrow and then go to the pivot point and say individual origins then press the E key and bring this out like so then control plus P key and make this selection a separate object uh, I do this to show a specific point later. Now we can go to uh, object mode and then I add a plane, shift A and plane, S and scale it up by 22, doesn't matter. Then I have a look from the side, G, Z, grab it in Z, and control key and make this object float a bit above the ground plane. Now we can add some materials. I go to uh, the materials tab which is this one. The plane is selected. I make this uh, kind of green, maybe a bit darker. Let's see. Yes, good. Then I select the other objects, make this uh, bluish, like so, and metallic. Then select this one, make this grey ish, and also metallic. Now let's see how this looks in a rendered view. For that we need a light and I want to have an area light and with the color of the light we can uh, change the total appearance. So let's make this a bit golden, like so. Okay. Now, I want to see this from the camera point of view, lock camera to view and make this something like this, then I can grab the light, like so. Okay, now one thing we must know is the rounded edge shader only works with the cycles engine, not yet with Eevee. I heard or I read that this is in the works, but currently it only works with cycles. Okay, now we have all of the ingredients and we can go to the shading tab here. 
I move this a bit closer, activate the rendered view, select uh, one of these metal objects and you see here we have this node uh, which we used before to uh, to assign it's exactly the same as this here we can could also do it in here and first I will move this up a bit and then shift a at a new node and it's the bevel node and then plug the normal into the normal here and you see immediately we have got rounded edges and they look pretty good with the samples here we can uh, change the quality so it goes up to a maximum of 16 with uh, such a simple model that's not a problem usually 4 is quite sufficient because when you go up with the samples then also the render time will go up and here we can change the width of uh, of the bevel like so but I go back to where it was before now I can select this node copy it select the other material right click and paste it in and also plug the normal to the normal and we have rounded edges all over our model except when you look closely here and that's the reason why I made two objects there is no bevel between the two but this can easily be fixed so we select both and then control J to join and now you can see we have a bevel also here and if we render this um, let's see I make this a bit smaller 66% so I can use it as the thumbnail and now I uh, have everything yes F12 and if we look at this model it is of course a simple one it also works on much more complicated ones but we have really nice beveled edges without using any additional geometry so you can make very very low poly models here and it is also possible to export them to unity or to unreal engine so that's it for today i hope you found this useful thanks for watching take care and see you some other time bye bye